Stroke Path and Hand Velocity. Improving your stroke path boosts the forces that propel you forward and should help maximise your distance per stroke. This feature shows your hand path from different angles, helping you to pinpoint areas to improve. The side-on view reveals the depth and shape of your pull from side-on, as well as how high your hand travels during recovery. Ideally, your stroke path should primarily run parallel to the centre line of your body. This is easiest to see in the overhead view. Your body's centre line is indicated by the dotted line in the centre of the chart. For left-hand strokes, the whole stroke should be to the left side of the centre line and to the right side for right-hand strokes. If your stroke path has a lot of sideways movement and looks more like a wide S shape or is crossing the centre line of your body, you've likely got an excessive outsweep or insweep. You may need to focus on refining your stroke path to be more parallel to the centre line of your body and that should see an uptick in your propulsive and a reduction in your lateral forces. You can also see your stroke path from the front with the head-on view. Each stroke is divided into the glide, red, pull, blue, and recovery, grey phases. Your goal is to optimise your glide and pull phases to improve your propulsive forces. Over on the right-hand side, we have a time slider that shows the total time taken for each stroke. As you slide it down, it also tells you the position of your hand and your hand speed at that point in your stroke helping you understand your hand velocity evolution. Once you have your hand path optimised and you can see a better distribution of your forces in all directions, you want to make sure that you get that happening on every stroke. This is where consistency is crucial.